old. Let's see if we can find out how to get to her. Oh, she's up in the rafters there. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, I don't think I've been up here before. This must be where everyone sleeps. This bedroom seen better days. Anyway, back to Vivian. You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. Thank you, Vivian. I'm glad you approve. When things have settled down a bit, I will take you to Val Royo and introduce you to my seamstress. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. What's wrong with being a commoner? There's nothing wrong with your birth, my dear, but you need to be an inspiration to the people. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. That's quite a lot for one person to pull off, don't you think? It is a challenge all great leaders must face, Inquisitor. As the stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. Do you need something, my dear? What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? I don't know what to make of Solus. So much knowledge and so little personal history. I find that peculiar. Don't you? How may I help you? <laughs> Any chance we might, uh... Bounce. Do you think that you and I might someday... Of course not, my dear. There's no advantage to such an arrangement. Aww. Did you need Vivian! Me, what are you doing to me? I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivian. Whatever would you like to know. Nope, I already know all that. Okay, well that was short-lived. Time to sit upon my throne of the dragon. Look at it all, dragon heady. Chair's kind of tiny, though. <laughs> you sent for me, Inquisitor. Knight Templar Delrin Barris. We've gathered to review your military service to the Inquisition. You showed exceptional valor defending the people of Valkaline from Venatori, and broke a siege of demons in Ansberg. You stood against an entire town that wanted to kill a mage for imagined demonic possession without raising a sword. In light of these victories and your service at Therenfall Redoubt, I hereby appoint you 
Knight Commander of our Templars. Your Worship, I... I am not worthy. You've shown loyalty, determination, courage. As all Templars should. I will honor your faith in me. Then rise, Knight Commander Barris. Those, those guys were all the same face, height, build. They just had different hair colors. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance. Likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary. Many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Tevinta, rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Lord Eremund, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty actions. Truth lies in the next world. Yeah, he, he needs to die. That's a big ass sword. It is done! Oh, there's still other stuff I gotta judge? Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. As if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Hmm. Feel your life is over. There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just an end. I'd rather have her kill some dark spawn, you know. Oh my god, I gotta judge more people? Man, beat important's hard. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is Oh, the mayor. Own constituents. He confesses that ten years ago he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word.
If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood. Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. committed murder on Ferelden's soil. Let them deal with your punishment. Send him to Denerim. He can live the rest of his life behind their bars. In prison? Maker. I should have drowned with them. Tell me that's the last one. Okay, good. Thank the heavens. Now I can actually go kill some stuff. A pleasure. For a time, finding the missing secrets seemed to be impossible. Early indications pointed that the men and women heading out one at a time into Ferelden, but here their trail went cold. A chance rumor regarding Van Loren, a Ferelden nobleman who had not been heard from for months, led Inquisition agents to investigate Sir Oswin, and they too went silent. These events are connected, and it seems that there were missing secrets will be found. Let's see what we have. Which time is the colon Ah! An hour 56. I should probably let Cassandra know about those seekers. Let's go do that real quick. And then off to battle! Sandra, baby, where you at? I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. Oh, we have to physically go there? 